Hello, friends. Welcome to Cinema Alerts. Today, I will recap a Hollywood film called Security, released in 2017. So without wasting time, let's begin. The movie introduces Eddie Deacon, a former Marine captain on the hunt for a job at an outsourcing firm. Unfortunately, the interview concludes that his psychological state, still fragile from leaving the Marine Corps, doesn't make him suitable for any available position. With a sense of sadness, Eddie reveals that he's been unemployed for a year and is desperate for work to support his wife and daughter. He's even open to taking on a janitorial role if necessary. Just as Eddie is about to leave, the interviewer has a change of heart and informs him about a potential fit as a mall security guard. The job offers low pay and long hours, but it's an immediate start and Eddie accepts without hesitation. Meanwhile, a convoy led by U.S. Marshals is seen transporting an 11-year-old girl named Jamie, a crucial witness set to testify against the notorious Triple Six crime gang in court the next day. Suspicion arises during the convoy's journey as they detect their being trailed. Suddenly, the convoy is attacked by a skilled group of heavily armed mercenary. In the ensuing chaos, a U.S. Marshal instructs Jamie to escape into the nearby woods and seek help. Though the Marshals lose their lives, Jamie manages to flee successfully. Realizing Jamie's absence, the mercenaries efficiently clean up the scene to eliminate traces. Shifting back to Eddie, he appears haunted by his past military experiences. He calls his wife to share news of his new job as a security guard and sends his greetings to his long-unseen daughter. Upon arriving at the mall, he's greeted by Vance, the chief security guard. Vance introduces Eddie to his colleagues, Ruby, Mason, and Johnny, who all extend a friendly welcome. The mall's security system faces some glitches, which Vance attributes to inclement weather. After providing Eddie with a uniform, Vance gives him a mall tour. Eddie questions the need for a team of five security guards during off hours. Vance explains that a heightened security presence is necessary due to a violent robbery in the past and the city's gang-related crime issue. Vance held a hidden affection for Ruby, a co-worker fond of drinking. Eddie finally began his patrol, and during his rounds, he noticed Jamie desperately banging on the mall's doors, begging to be let inside. Acting on instinct, Eddie opened the doors, allowing the frantic Jamie to enter. She soon lost consciousness, and Eddie carefully placed her on a couch. Vance tried to contact the police, but to their puzzlement, there was no phone signal and the landline was dead. Suddenly, a man named Charlie arrived, claiming to be Jamie's father and searching for her. Without much hesitation, Vance instructed another guard to bring Jamie downstairs. However, Eddie's instincts were suspicious of Charlie. He felt that Jamie appeared terrified, possibly trying to escape from an evil figure. Eddie began questioning Charlie about Jamie's characteristics. When Jamie was brought face to face with Charlie, she let out a horrified scream and fled. Witnessing this, Eddie adamantly prevented Vance from allowing Charlie any further access. Unbeknownst to them, Charlie was not Jamie's birth father but the mastermind behind the mercenaries that attacked the U.S. Marshal convoy. He had disguised himself as her father to get closer to her. Charlie tried to bribe Vance with money in exchange for Jamie, tempting him, but Eddie intervened, physically confronting him. Undeterred, Charlie threatened Eddie before departing to prepare for an impending attack. He outlined his plan to his mercenaries, encircle the mall, secure the perimeter, and turn off the guard's getaway car. In the meantime, Eddie worked on establishing communication with Jamie, who was hiding within the mall. She eventually emerged and implored Eddie to promise to protect her, a promise he readily made. Once everyone was gathered, Mason revealed the truth about Jamie's past. Her father had been involved in a cartel and later turned on them, exposing their crimes to the police. As a result, he was killed, and Jamie, having witnessed the murder, was placed in witness protection. Her testimony was critical in the cartel's trial. Eddie then concealed Jamie in a storage room, maintaining radio contact and instructing her not to open the door for anyone until it was safe. While Vance and the other guards were overwhelmed by fear, considering the mercenaries' capabilities in defeating highly trained government agents, Eddie remained fearless, drawing on his marine experience. He devised a plan and reassured the others. Eddie and the guards devised makeshift explosives and traps to fortify the mall's defenses and safeguard Jamie. Charlie initiated his attack, deploying a sniper through the roof and sending others to breach the back entrance. With collaboration from Vance and his team, Eddie neutralized several mercenaries. However, the sniper gained access to the mall and targeted Vance. Fortunately, Ruby arrived just in time to rescue Vance from the sniper's aim. Charlie then ordered his forces to retreat temporarily, intending to eliminate any evidence before launching their next assault. Eddie and the security team strategized their defense, positioning themselves at various entrances and exits, while Johnny was tasked with signaling nearby police patrols using a flashlight. Amid this, Jamie emerged from hiding, offering her assistance. Simultaneously, Charlie and his crew infiltrated the mall with the help of their skilled hacker. Jamie employed an RC car to divert Charlie's attention, revealing a fake ambush location prepared by Eddie. Charlie redirected his men to the decoy spot, promising rewards for Jamie's death and threatening severe consequences for failure. 
As they arrived, one of Charlie's men fell victim to one of Eddie's traps. Ruby fought back, firing arrows and wounding one of the mercenary. However, the well-trained attackers retaliated, seriously injuring Ruby. Mason succeeded in eliminating two attackers using Eddie's traps and improvised weapons before retrieving their rifle. Eddie kept in touch with his colleagues via walkie-talkies and was relieved to learn they had all survived. He instructed Mason to stay in position while he retrieved a rifle. However, the mercenaries located Eddie and launched an assault, forcing him to flee. At that moment, a police patrol car pulled to the mall entrance. Johnny attempted to signal the police with his flashlight, but it malfunctioned. Determined, Johnny left his hiding spot to alert the officers, only to be shot dead by a rooftop sniper. Eddie rallied his co-workers to gather in the toy store for a strategic regrouping. He engaged and dispatched a mercenary there, procuring the assailant's weapon and neutralizing the other nearby guards. These events unfolded under Charlie's watchful gaze, monitored through a CCTV camera. Vance and Ruby emerged from their hiding spots but were instantly ambushed. Ruby pushed Vance to safety, sacrificing herself to save him. Simultaneously, the mercenaries tracked down Mason and attempted to eliminate him, only for Eddie's timely intervention to thwart their efforts. Eddie and the surviving members found refuge in the toy store, taking cover there. Infuriated by the unfolding chaos, Charlie resolved to take personal charge and eliminate the threat Eddie and his companions posed. Tragically, Ruby succumbed to her grievous injuries, leaving Vance devastated by the loss of the woman he cared for deeply and who had heroically saved his life. Fueled by determination, Eddie entrusted Jamie with a concealed weapon within a doll and implored her to stay hidden. Jamie recounted her traumatic experiences since her father's murder and her ensuing pursuit by the Triple Six Gang. Eddie expressed his understanding and apologized for not comprehending the gravity of the situation earlier. Eddie steadfastly clung to his promise to shield Jamie and once more rejected Charlie's overture to surrender. Meanwhile, Mason spotted a U.S. Marshal's vehicle approaching the mall entrance. Simultaneously, Eddie detected a suspicious van, subsequently revealed to be Charlie's mobile headquarters housing the skilled hacker responsible for orchestrating the mercenaries' coordinated assault. Eddie suspected that the hacker was responsible for jamming their phone signal. Taking action, he ventured out through the rear exit intending to rendezvous with the U.S. Marshals and joining Vance to safeguard the toy store entrance. After Eddie's departure, the mercenaries breached the toy store, provoking a fierce firefight between Vance and the attacker. On a different front, the U.S. Marshals confronted Eddie, instructing him to kneel while aiming their weapons at him. Eddie clarified his role as a security guard, refuting any notion of being Jamie's abductor. He covertly signaled Mason to bring Jamie to the U.S. Marshals' location. Yet, Eddie's discerning eye caught sight of triple six tattoos on the necks of the supposed law enforcement agents, unveiling their true allegiance as members of the criminal syndicate. Mason, who emerged from his concealment with Jamie, confronted the assailants and was tragically struck down by a fatal gunshot. Despite the challenges, Jamie successfully escapes from her captors. Vance takes out the remaining mercenaries, aiding Jamie's flight but sustaining severe injuries that render him helpless. Having thwarted the criminals masquerading as federal agents, Eddie directs Jamie to fetch a radio to call for assistance. Unbeknownst to them, Charlie eavesdrops on their conversation via the walkie-talkie. Charlie commands his remaining men to eliminate Eddie while he pursues Jamie. Eddie swiftly moves to turn off the radio van, restoring their phone signal and overpowering the mercenary. However, he faces fierce combat with Charlie's right-hand man, a fearsome fighter known as Dead Eye. After a prolonged struggle, Eddie eventually gains the upper hand and subdues Dead Eyes, making a daring escape on a mall motorized trike. Eddie employs it to ram into the radio van. He also dispatches Dead Eyes with a gun from Vance's car, a piece of information Vance had shared with him earlier. Eddie's courage prevails despite sustaining multiple gunshot wounds during his confrontation with the enemy. Simultaneously, Charlie relentlessly pursues Jamie within the mall, sharing a tale of parental abandonment and proposing to care for her in exchange for her silence. Despite her dire circumstances, Jamie manages to elude Charlie's grasp. Eventually, Charlie tracks her down, captures her, and prepares to carry out his sinister intentions. However, Eddie, weakened and staggering, intervenes. Charlie attempts to persuade Eddie to take the money and depart, asserting that his colleagues' deaths wouldn't be in vain. Eddie remains unwavering in his determination and commitment to his promise to Jamie. In a surprising twist, Jamie uses a taser concealed within the doll Eddie had given her earlier, creating an opening for Eddie to seize Vance's gun and fatally shoot Charlie. Following this intense encounter, Jamie quickly contacts the police, who arrive promptly to secure her safety. Jamie shows her gratitude by embracing Eddie tightly before the officers take charge. Eddie watches as Vance is attended to by medical professionals, having survived his injuries. A few days later, Jamie visits Eddie in the hospital, expressing her appreciation for having a father figure like him. Her uncle arrives to take her home, signaling a semblance of normalcy returning to her life. The film concludes with Eddie recovering and experiencing a heartwarming reunion with his wife and daughter.